हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ मिस्टर सुनील दत्ता एन कुलकर्णी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मेकॅनिकल इंजिनिअरिंग वालचन इन्स्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी सोलापूर टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू डिलिव्हर अ व्हिडिओ सेशन ऑन परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ स्टीम कंडेन्सर टू ॲट द एंड ऑफ दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू कॅल्क्युलेट द वॅक्युम एफिशियन्सी अँड कंडेन्सर एफिशियन्सी also you will be able to calculate quality of steam entering the condenser the contents of this video session are the numericals on performance of steam condenser we are going to study two numericals related to performance of steam condenser the first problem is the following observations were recorded during trial on steam condenser barometric reading equals 765 mm of mercury कंडेन्सर वैक्यूम सेवन हंड्रेड एंड टेन मिलीमीटर्स ऑफ मर्क्युरी मीन कंडेन्सर टेम्परेचर गिवन ऐज थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर ऑफ हॉटवेल ट्वेंटी एट डिग्री सेल्सियस कंडेन्सेट कलेक्टेड इक्वल्स टू थाउजंड के जी पर आवर क्वांटिटी ऑफ कूलिंग वॉटर कलेक्टेड इज सिक्सटी थाउजंड के जी पर आवर टेम्परेचर ऑफ कूलिंग वॉटर ऐट इनलेट इज एट डिग्री सेल्सियस and temperature of cooling water at outlet is equal to 24 degree celsius this is the given data and we are supposed to determine corrected vacuum to standard barometer vacuum efficiency of condenser under cooling of condensate condenser efficiency and quality of steam entering condenser now let us see how we can find out each term one by one the first step in the solution is first we need to calculate the absolute pressure in the condenser and already we have discussed in my previous sessions the absolute pressure in condenser is given by barometric pressure minus vacuum gauge reading now in the problem it is given that barometric pressure is 765 and vacuum gauge reading in the condenser is 710 so 765 minus 710 gives us 55 mm of mercury this is the vacuum in the condenser in mm of mercury which we can convert into bar which will be equivalent to 0.074 bar we know that one bar is equal to 750 mm of mercury therefore 55 mm of mercury can be converted into into bar by dividing by 750 mm of mercury so we get absolute pressure in bar as 0.074 bar now let us see how to find out the corrected vacuum in the condenser a corrected vacuum is given by an equation standard barometric pressure minus absolute pressure in the condenser now let us pause the video for few for a moment and let us recall why do we find corrected vacuum as we know that the barometric pressure varies from location to location and condenser is will be located at a particular point where barometric pressure will be different than standard barometric pressure standard barometric pressure is given by 760 mm of mercury hence we can find the corrected vacuum by using standard barometric pressure as 760 mm of mercury minus absolute pressure in the condenser 55 mm of mercury which we have decided in our previous step and this will be obtained as 705 mm of mercury now let us see how to find vacuum efficiency vacuum efficiency is given by an equation it is the ratio of actual vacuum to the ideal vacuum actual vacuum in the condenser is given by the relation barometric reading minus absolute pressure in the condenser barometric reading given in the problem is 765 mm of mercury and absolute pressure in the condenser we have obtained as 55 mm of mercury so difference of these two will give us the actual vacuum in the condenser equal to 710 mm of mercury now let us see how to find out the ideal vacuum ideal vacuum is nothing but the vacuum in the condenser when air is totally absent which is given by barometric reading minus saturation pressure of steam now barometric reading already we know that it is given as 765 mm of mercury 
whereas saturation pressure of steam is obtained from the steam table corresponding to mean condenser temperature of 35 degrees celsius so by using the temperature tables in the steam table we get corresponding to 35 degrees celsius absolute pressure of steam equal to 0 0.056 bar which we can convert into millimeters of mercury as we know that 750 millimeter of mercury equal to 1 bar so 0 0.056 bar will be equal to 42 millimeters of mercury therefore ideal vacuum is obtained by taking difference of barometric reading of 765 millimeters of mercury minus saturation pressure of steam corresponding to mean condenser temperature of 35 as 42 millimeter of mercury which is obtained as 723 millimeters of mercury therefore using an equation for vacuum efficiency which is ratio of actual vacuum on ideal vacuum we can put actual vacuum as 710 millimeters of mercury and ideal vacuum of 723 millimeter of mercury we get it as 798.2 zero percentage now we are going to find out the undercooling of condensate means when that condensate steam is cooled below mean condensate temperature it is called as undercooling now undercooling of condensate is given by the formula mean condenser temperature minus hot well temperature that is the temperature of condensate in the hot well which will be equal to 35 minus 28 equivalent to 7 degree celsius now let us see how to find out condenser efficiency condenser efficiency is given by an equation rise in actual rise in temperature of cooling water divided by maximum possible rise in temperature of cooling water now actual rise in temperature of cooling water is given by tw2 minus tw1 which is nothing but the outlet cooling water temperature minus inlet cooling water temperature which is equivalent to 24 minus 8 divided by maximum possible rise in temperature of cooling water is given by the saturation temperature of steam corresponding to the absolute pressure in the condenser which is obtained as now we we can see here that the saturation temperature of the uh, steam corresponding to absolute pressure in the condenser of 0 0.074 bar is equivalent to 39.95 degrees celsius therefore the condenser efficiency will be 24 minus 8 which is nothing but the actual rise in temperature of cooling water divided by maximum possible rise in temperature of cooling water is given by saturation temperature 39.95 minus inlet cooling water temperature of 8 so ratio of this gives us condenser efficiency equal to 50.07 percentage now let us see how to find out the quality of steam entering the condenser for finding out quality of steam entering condenser we will be using the energy balance equation as heat lost by the steam equal to heat gained by the cooling water now heat lost by the steam is given by the given by an equation mass of the steam multiplied by enthalpy of steam entering the condenser minus enthalpy of condensate leaving the con condenser which will be equal to heat gained by cooling water will be equal to mass of cooling water into specific heat of cooling water into rise in temperature of cooling water now the enthalpy of steam entering steam is given by an equation h is equal to hf plus x into hg since the steam entering the condenser is weight we have to use the equation for enthalpy of weight steam formula where hf and hfg are obtained from steam table corresponding to absolute pressure of steam in the condenser which is equal to 0 0.704 bar therefore hf and hfg are taken from steam table corresponding to pressure table in the steam table with the with the reference to pressure of 0 0.070 0 0.070 bar and sc is enthalpy of saturated liquid at hot well temperature of 28 degrees celsius which is obtained as 117.3 kilojoules per kg so using the values of hf plus x into hfg and sc as well as mass of steam entering condenser mass of cooling water supplied and specific heat of steam and rise in temperature of cooling water when we put these values we can obtain by solving this equation the value of x 
that is nothing but the dryness fraction of steam entering the condenser which is obtained as x is equal to 0.819. Now let us see the second problem in which we are, the problem statement is the vacuum efficiency of condenser is 95 percent and the temperature of condens condenser is 40 degrees Celsius. If the barometric reading is 75.4 centimeter of mercury, find the vacuum gauge reading of the condenser. So here we are given with the vacuum efficiency, te mean condenser temperature, barometric pressure and we are supposed to find out the vacuum gauge reading of the condenser that is vacuum in the condenser. Now let us see how to find out the solution. Now already we have defined that vacuum efficiency is actual vacuum upon ideal vacuum. Actual vacuum we can denote it in terms of head of millimeters of mercury or centimeters of mercury as HV and ideal vacuum is nothing but barometric pressure, barometric reading HB minus saturation pressure of the steam in terms of centimeters of mercury. Therefore, we can write this as the saturation pressure of steam corresponding to mean condenser temperature of 40 degrees Celsius is obtained from steam table corresponding to temperature table at 40 degrees Celsius we get saturation pressure as 0.0738 bar and converting this into centimeters of mercury as 5.535 centimeters of mercury we can write now the values as vacuum efficiency is equal to given as 95 percent that is 0.95 equal to the actual vacuum that is vacuum gauge reading which we are interested in to find divided by barometric pressure given in the problem is 75.4 centimeter, uh, 75 centimeter of mercury minus this saturation pressure as 5.535. Using these values and solving this we get the vacuum gauge reading in the condenser as 66.37 centimeters of mercury which we can convert as 0.88 bar. These are the references. Thank you.